Hi, I'm Elise, and today I'm going to show you how to find in-demand occupations for your area. First, we'll go over to occupations in the left column, and then select the occupation table. From here, make sure you keep all available selected and choose your region. Whether you're looking at the state level, a metropolitan statistical area, a county, or a zip code, you can quickly find the right region by putting in your keyword. From here, we're going to choose the best data points to help identify those high demand occupations for your region. We'll want to look at typical entry level education so we can focus on occupations that are most relevant for our graduates. We'll also look at job change by job count and percentage. And then of course, set a start and end year for the time frame that you're interested in. There are over 30 different options in the tool, so if there's other data that you want to add to your search, feel free to add those and click run. Once inside the report, you have a couple of options. You can always change those occupations or regions if you want to, or adjust the time frame. Additionally, you can highlight the columns that are most valuable to you, emphasizing the data that you want to pay special attention to. For our current search, we're going to filter by job change. To find the highest in-demand occupations in your region, you want to see the ones that are growing at the highest rate. Now this not only includes a percentage change, but also the number of jobs that would change over the next couple of years. Make sure to look at both percentage and job count. While the percentage may be high, the actual job counts may be low. For example, if we look at helpers and roofers, it shows a high percentage change of 91%, but with an increase of only 10 total jobs. Medical secretaries, however, is growing by 46% and shows an absolute increase of 417 potential jobs. So what we want to do is find jobs that not only have a high percentage change, but also a high change in actual job numbers. From here, we can use filters to make sure we're looking at jobs that require at least some college. We just add a filter where typical entry level education is greater than or equal to some college, no degree. We can narrow the search even more by adding a second filter. For example, less than or equal to an associate's degree, which could be useful for community colleges. Now we check the updated results to see which occupations have the greatest growth potential. Cosmetologists have strong projected growth, as do medical assistants. To learn more about any of these occupations, we can just select it here, and then use the Jump To menu at the top to quickly access an occupation overview report, which includes data on job postings, demographics, degree programs, and related industries. Thanks for watching.